Hello everyone, today we have a new calculus problem which is about Euler's method with step signs. So I will read you guys out the question and we will solve it together. It says use Euler's method with a step size of 0.5 to compute the approximate y values y1, y2, y3, and y4 of solutions of the initial value problem y prime is equal to y minus 2x and y1 is equal to 0. I will solve this. Well, first to do that, I need to draw a graph and bunch of columns. Okay, so let's start off with a graph first. We have a graph like this, and the initial value starting from x is equal to 1 to 1, and y is equal to 0. So let's call this 1. Okay, so it starts from here. And of the step size 0.5. Okay, so what does this mean? Oh yeah, also, we need to draw the column. I will have it right here. Okay, we have the n, x n, and y n, and the slope, which I will label it n. So, to start off, let's have n1, okay? So, x1, what is that? Okay, x1. x1 it says that initial value, which is x, well, when n is equal to 1, we have x1 as just 1, because x is equal to 1. And which, the first, um, y1, would be 0. So what is the slope? How do we find the slope? It's just, we substituting the x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0 onto here. If we do that, we get y prime is equal to, um, putting 0 into there, we get 0 and a minus 2. So the slope is equal to 2. Now let's graph this. The slope is a 2, but the step size is 0 0.5. So we go 0 0.5 onto this side. So if this is 2, this is going to be 0 0.5 going further from here. So that is 1.5. And it's a slope of 2. So that's going to be looking like this. And where this is 1. which makes a lot of sense because the slope is 2. So when it went 0 0.5 of the x-axis, it went 1 up to the y-axis. And now we start from here, okay? What's the point? x is equal to 1.5 and y is equal to 1. So when n is equal to 2, we have x2 as 1.5 and y as 1. And What's the slope again? We just put these two back in here. So putting the value of y into here, we get 1 minus putting 2 there, we get 3. No, 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 wait, no, I'm sorry. Wait, wait. The y value is negative 1 because that's just 0, okay? That's negative 1. So again, putting back in the negative 1 there, and we'll probably get this. And that is equal to negative 4. Okay, so... Now, another step size is 0 0.5, so we went 0 0.5, which is at 2, and the slope is 4, not negative 4, 4. Well, yeah. Oh, that was negative 10, that was negative 4. So, we went 0 0.5 up to here, and the slope is negative 4, starting from here. So, negative 4, when we went here, so, so what is that? Okay. So when 0 0.5 went on the x-axis, the slope is y over x, and x is equal to 0 0.5, y is unknown, and this is value of 2, okay? We multiply 0 0.5 onto there, okay? Then we just get y is equal to 1. So starting from here, we went 3, okay? Which makes sense because we went 0 0.5, okay, 0 0.5, and we moved 2 up. So, and that's 1. Okay, so what is this point now? That is equal to x is equal to 2 and y is equal to negative 3. So when n is equal to 3, we have x is equal to 2 
and y is equal to omega 3. And what's the slope of that? That is equal to, put the negative 3 for the y value, which we would get negative 3 minus 2 times 2 is equal to 4, so that's negative 7. Okay, negative 7. So that's 2.5, again, because the step size is 0 0.5, and negative 7. Slope is negative 7. So from here, slope is negative 7, and so if this is going to be 0 0.5, okay, we have to, and the slope is 7, right, which means we went 3.5 down from negative 3, okay, so that is negative, so this is negative, this negative 2, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6 and negative 7, okay? So, when we went 0 0.5 there, we are right here with the slope of negative 7. Very straight line, okay? Now, what's the point of this? Point of this. That is, when x is equal to, okay, and when n is equal to 4, when n is 4, x is equal to 2.5, and y is equal to negative 7. Wait, no, actually, negative 7, right? Starting from here, so we should have gone negative 7 from negative 3. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Okay, here we have. And so the y value is actually negative 10. Okay. So what's the what's the slope? Okay, let's just put them in there. Y is equal to negative 10, and x is equal to 2.5, so that's just going to be 5, which we will get negative 15. Okay. And what did it ask in the first place? Okay, it says with steps of it says use Euler's method with step size of 0 0.5 to compute the approximate y values of this. Of the yeah. So we get slope is negative 15. And if you guys have not noticed, y1 is this. This column or section. It might be not section, I don't know. Let's just call this column, okay? This column. Is y1 and this is this column is y2 and this column is y3 and this column is y4 and it will look like this step size of 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 so we went one one two three times but going for four times that's just it will go all the way down and I cannot support that so I will leave it up for you guys to do that okay well, we have our answers, so I guess it's a goodbye. See you guys in the next video.